Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is the continuation for my series of videos I am making on enterprise AI architecture. So as part of this video, I am going to talk about the data connectivity. As part of data connectivity, we need to follow these four uh, processes. Uh, whatever you say, it's just strategies. So, data sources, data collection, data centralization, data governance. Once you are decided to transform your organization into AI enabled enterprise, then you need to collect data from different locations, which has been from your products or from your websites. So, you need to collect all data which can be used to get insights from it. So your data might be lying on uh, uh, cloud on premises or from your website or maybe uh, remote databases or local databases and sometimes on, uh, from REST APIs. So your application would have deployed on uh, clouds like uh, cloud uh, public clouds like Amazon Web Services, Azure or Google Cloud Platform. AWS, you have the AWS S3 is the object storage. So you might uh, be storing all your application logs on Amazon S3 bucket. So you should be able to collect connect AWS S3 and get the data. And also Azure Blob Storage or Google Cloud Storage. And you might be having a website for your company. So the customers who are visiting your website they might be uh, or navigating through different pages and they are making some clicks. So you have to collect the data of your customer so that you can uh, provide better services for your customer depends on uh, his age, location, whatever it is, whatever he likes. You can collect the customer data from your website based on his behavior on your website. You should be able to connect all these data sources respective of volume, variety and velocity of data. So you should have proper tools in your organization to connect it. You can use streaming platforms like a, a streaming framework like Apache Spark and you can use some small uh, streaming application which can connect to these data sources and it can uh, store it in your central location. So these are the different uh, data sources types where you can uh, store, where you might be collecting data for your enterprise artificial intelligence applications. So, yeah, databases might be SQLs or no SQLs for normal traditional RDBMS databases like uh, DB2, Oracle, Postgre, and no SQL databases like Cassandra, MongoDB, Elasticsearch, or ScalaDB, whatever it is. So, you should be able to connect all these different kind of data sources to get the data so that you can invest some time on uh, in your data, analyze it. And you can explore it and data collection once you know that uh, where your data is located at uh, different data sources you should be able to collect data from these data sources with seamless connection so irrespective of uh, volume of data variety of data and velocity of data so once you have proper seamless connection so that you can store the data in a centralized location that is data centralization why we have to store all the raw data in a central location? Because we can easily apply on data on this data, data governance and security, so that we can provide the access to the authorized users in your right way. Guys, if you like this video, please like it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. Thank you.